We are on a do everything theme today. The entertainment notebook does everything you could want a computer to do. And now we are going to take a look at everything you can do to keep your computer safe, to keep it secure, and to keep your data protected. Symantec has been the company that we've looked to as a leader in security almost since the inception of the industry. And they have a new and totally integrated approach to PC security. It is called Norton 360, and we're going to have a look at it right now. Now, in the past, we had a whole series of tools for our security needs. You had your antivirus software, you had your firewall, you had your backup software, you had your anti-spam software, and then Symantec would bring them all together under a common management interface. And it was a good solution, and it still has merit. You get the modules you need, and you manage them in a single place. But Norton 360 is completely different. It's a fully integrated solution, written as a single application, not as a whole series of tools that are then bolted together. And the benefit to you and I is it's faster, it's leaner, it runs in a smaller footprint, it just works better. So let us take a look at Norton 360. Now the software is broken into four quadrants of security. We have PC security, transactional security, backing up and restoring our files, and the PC tune-up area. So let us begin in PC security, which is dealing with things like our old friend computer viruses, which are still flowing about and can still cause issues from time to time. So if we take a look here, we see all of the different things that Norton 360 is protecting us from. We've got auto protect turned on for viruses, spyware and other risks. We have our firewall turned on. A lot of us have hardware firewalls that are built into our routers and they're a good form of defense, but software firewalls are also very important, especially for notebook users who aren't always behind the protection of a hardware firewall. So your firewall being turned on is going to protect you all the time from intrusion and hacker attacks. Now all of our systems are updated regularly by live update. That's semantic system of updating the virus definitions for all of their software so that we always have the most current virus definitions available to our software. And then we've actually got two different ways that we protect against viruses. One is an active protection that's scanning all incoming email, all text uh, or chat messages going back and forth, any files that are being loaded onto our computer. They're constantly being scanned by Norton 360 as they come into the computer and then from time to time you're going to run a full system scan, which is going to go through and make sure that nothing has slipped through or there hasn't been a time bomb sitting in your computer just waiting to go off that it now finds. Next on our list is email scanning, and it's important to scan all attachments as they come into your system, making sure there's no embedded viruses there. But equally important, scanning your outgoing email, making sure you don't accidentally send out a virus and become the cause of other people getting infected. Windows Update is going to look system-wide to make sure that you have the most current security patches set on your system. Intrusion detection is going to prevent people from getting into your system. And the rest of the tools aren't quite as sexy as the antivirus tools that we were looking at earlier, but they do some subtle things. For instance, checking your password to make sure that your password is going to be difficult to hack and you haven't chosen the word password or 1234 as a password. They're going to prompt you and say, you know, you should have a better password. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice in this version of the software is we don't actually go in and modify any of our settings in this particular window. Instead, we go back out into the main Norton 360 interface, go into tasks and settings, and here we can set the preferences for our different tools. Not only setting the preferences for our different protection tools, but we can also add some additional functionality. Norton 360 includes the Norton add-on pack, which you can download additional functionality. You can download parental controls, anti-spam, and ad blocking software. Now they found that most people don't need this because, for example, with anti-spam, your ISP blocks most of the spam, so it never reaches your inbox. But if you're a person that receives a lot of spam in your inbox, then you can go and you can download Norton Anti-Spam. Now, spam is a big problem if you do get a lot, because not only do you have to wade through all sorts of, frankly, offensive email to find the legitimate email that you have on your system, it's also a place that a lot of different viruses can enter your system. And just the overwhelming amount of spam that you get, it's better to filter it out. So if your email service doesn't do a good job filtering spam, you can download the add-on pack for free to add to your email software. Similarly, for parental control, if you want to limit your children's access to certain areas of the internet, you can download parental controls and you can also download an ad blocking module. So you can extend the functionality of Norton 360 with those add-ons and they are all free when you register Norton 360. The next area that I want to talk about is transaction security. And this is all about making sure that when we visit a website, it's a legitimate website that we're visiting. And one of the big challenges here is a 
thing called phishing. This is where you receive an email from a seemingly legitimate source. It looks like it's your bank or it maybe is your credit card company saying there's an issue with your account. We want you to just verify some account details. And they give you a link to their site which will allow you to go in and enter your account number and password and change the settings. Well, that is an actual attempt to steal your identity because you're not going to a legitimate site. You're going to a phishing site where they're going to steal all that information. So Norton 360 protects you against those sort of attacks and it goes beyond that. Not only does it protect you against those sorts of attacks, but it also protects you when you're out on the internet in general. It installs in your web browser and makes sure that when you go and visit websites that they are legitimate websites, that they're what they're supposed to be. So it actually looks at the detail of that website itself. So example, I'm just here at Yahoo site and if I click here, it tells me that fraud monitoring is on and there's no indication that this web page is fraudulent. You'll get a green bar when the site is legitimate. You'll get a yellow bar if you should proceed with caution. If they're not sure, it looks like it's okay, but you should be careful. And if it looks like a bogus site, you'll get a red warning saying you should not be at this site. So you get immediate feedback as to whether or not the site that you're visiting is legitimate. Security is a system level concern. You've got emails entering your system, websites being visited, network attacks or intrusions are happening. These are all the risks that we face. And those risks to us range from losing or destroying our data to having our personal identity stolen through to becoming an unwilling participant in a denial of service attack or some other scam. After a quick break, we're gonna look at the other side of the security story, which is backing up, archiving, and tuning up our system.